this whole idea of, of somehow taking the aesthetic of snapshot photography and exploring it in, as cinema, as in motion. And you know, one of those things you see is the, the, that red eye effect that people usually want to get rid of. And I thought, well, let's put it in the video. The challenge of creating a snapshot look on film was interesting and something that Harris Savitas, the cinematographer, and I uh, got excited by. Like, how do we make it look like a flash had just gone off? And the only way to achieve that was by having a very small source of light. So we did some experimenting and made the smallest light I've ever seen. And it looked really thrilling. It just, the look of it was sort of a 180 from how you're supposed to light something. I mean, it's just so dumb. It's like... I thought I looked really pretty, and I saw the part of me in the pool, and I was like, that's the prettiest picture, I look so pretty. And I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a real video, that's a real video, and, and I can't wait till everybody sees it. What was really unique about Fiona at that time was she was the first, you know, female song, singer-songwriter who was, you know, astonishingly young to be writing these sophisticated and mature lyrics, and I was really concerned at the time that she understood that that we wanted to do something provocative that she that she was okay with it I pulled out a lot of photo references of the level and the degree of eroticism and and uh, sexuality that I thought might be interesting interesting to portray and I showed it to her and I said this is the kind of stuff that I think would be interesting to do are you okay with this and she was fine with it the song was really about feeling bad for getting something so easily and taking advantage of, you know, your sexuality and just using it to get whatever you want, which ended up working with the video because it was a sexual video and I got exactly what I had wanted. But then I didn't feel good. I actually did feel like a criminal after that. She made some comments in some interviews that she felt kind of coerced or that she didn't really have the ability to say no because I had a reputation as, a, as a, a big video director. It was nothing against Mark and it was nothing against the art of the video. I got so much shit for it. And, you know, all the people that are there during the video telling you how great it is, they're not there anymore. So then you have all these people that are there going, you sell out, you slut, you, ha you know. Very confusing, but, you know. It's cool to talk about. I think she's come around to see the qualities of it and the intention of it was not meant to be strictly prurient. It was meant to be provocative and talked about but intelligent. It was beautiful. It's a good video. It looks, it looks really good. Um, it works for the song. It's not... Uh, uh, we can be friends again. <laughs> um, no, I think it's beautiful.